By the way, from that, research has shown that most small and medium enterprises in both Nigeria and Ghana believe introducing artificial intelligence tools is the best option to catalyze their operations, remove human interface, and eradicate corruption. The World Bank estimates they provide between 60 and 70 percent of jobs in sub-Saharan Africa and about 40 percent of the GDP in low-income countries. But the operations and growth are mostly stifled by corruption. Today on The Pulse, we will dig further into this topic with someone who knows the terrain and the outcome of the research findings. We'll, uh, we, we will be engaging Samuel Adomakon, Associate Professor of Strategy and Innovation at the University of Birmingham, UK. Uh, grateful to you uh, uh, for joining us. Uh, now, Doc, your research reveals that digital tools can be a game changer in fighting corruption among SMUs in Ghana. But can you tell us what sparked your interest in this critical issue affecting our economy? on your show. Um, a group of researchers from the University of Birmingham, University of uh, Durham, and uh, University of Aberdeen, we had the interest in understanding how small businesses will grow and, and their in, our interest span from the use of digital technologies and how digitalization has improved their uh, kind of interest in doing this. So we sought to find out and did some research around that. And the findings are very interesting. We found that firms, that small, medium-sized enterprises that use um, digital technologies, like that share intelligence that you mentioned in their business model, create, uh, allow them to create new revenues streams and add value to their opportunity seeking in the market. What did your research really find and, and what, what uh, are supposed to be what these SMEs can do to change the game? Well, I mean, as I mentioned, we found that um, SMEs that integrate artificial intelligent technologies and uh, other um, digitalization processes mm. to leverage their kind of digital technologies are able to transform their business models and they are able to create new revenue streams and improve their a value producing opportunities. And so uh, if we take, for example, two uh, companies that are not, that one is using uh, digital technologies, the one that is more prone to use te digital technologies is more likely to improve their growth and increase their revenues than those that don't uh, do that. But you also find that those that use uh, digital technologies are able to bypass uh, corruption mm -hmm. and other bribery activities mm -hmm. uh, from authorities in Ghana mm -hmm. and in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And so the SME managers uh, mentioned that digital technologies have helped them to improve their growth mm -hmm. and reduce corruption mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these are the key findings okay. uh, in our research. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, Ghanaian entrepreneurs face numerous challenges from access to capital uh, to, you know, a, a lot of issues in terms of dealing with corruption. How does your study address this point uh, and, and what solutions do you propose? Well, we, 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 we have so many recommendations uh, kind of for um, managers and also for policymakers in, in Africa and particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. Hmm. We, we, we propose that um, SMEs to integrate these digital technologies but for policymakers, that um, is important for them to look at how these technologies can assist uh, small, medium-sized enterprises to grow. Mm -hmm. And so this is important for them. And so there are several kind of um, activities that we, 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 we talk about. Mm -hmm. For example, helping them to secure the technologies that are mostly most important for them to grow their businesses is important. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, most of one of the difficulties for small medium enterprises is um, a way, a way, the way they are unable to secure funding activities. So with the use of technologies, mm. uh, it's able to help them to secure these kind of um, uh, funding activities for them. Okay, all right. Now, uh, we've heard of stories of corrupt officials demanding bribes from business owners. Can digital tools really be the, the, the game changer to reduce these incidents? Yes, it is. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that we we, we discuss with the main, most of the SME managers is that, is that um, when it comes to uh, procurement activities in, mm -hmm. in 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 Ghana and in Nigeria, 
most uh, officials tend to demand bribe when there are kind of there is face-to-face -face, uh, activities. But when the 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 the, the, the the, the activities are moved online, mm. it helps them to bypass uh, these face-to-face -face, uh, activities. Okay. And so this is the typical example mm. to demonstrate that with the use of digital technologies, SMEs can bypass corruption uh, or bribery activities and they will be able to grow their businesses. Mm. Okay. Uh, Ghana relies heavily on SMEs, as, as uh, your research points out, that about 70-60% of, of, of you know, uh, the SMEs SMEs employ about 60, 70 percent of the of the workforce in sub-Saharan Africa, yet they struggle uh, to do a lot of things. For, for example, even having access to finance, uh, making sure that uh, the right things are done in, in 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 that sector. What must change about the SMEs operations? Well, as you as you mentioned, um, when SMEs are able to integrate these uh, technologies, they are able to remove the human element in, 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 in doing their business. And mostly, as aligned with the authorities who normally, I mean, I'm not saying everybody, but you know, in Ghana and Nigeria, most authorities are likely to demand bribe before certain activities are approved mm -hmm. or for them. And so with the use of these technologies, they're able to, to, I mean, take the human element from that. And most of the things are processed online. And so they acknowledge that with these kind of uh, activities that are done online, it helps them to, to be able to eliminate the face-to-face -face interface mm. um, from mm. their businesses. Yeah. Mm. One other thing, one other challenge that these SMEs face is sometimes trying to do business illegal, registering their, their businesses, uh, being able to pay their taxes and whatever. They even complain that tax officials become too hard on them. How can, can technology, digital tools, really help deal with these? Well, you see, as, as I mentioned earlier on, mm. um, with the integration of digital technologies, mm. uh, managers are able to move away from uh, these uh, officials that mm. normally demand uh, something before. When I say something, it, might, it could be bribe, it could be yeah. anything, it could be favors. Mm. So when they are able to move away from that and everything is done online, mm. It makes it easier for them to move forward quickly and easier for them to do their businesses. And so, one of the uh, some of the interview that we did confirmed that it is important for managers or let's say the authorities to try to improve the digitalization process that will allow them to do businesses more easily and um, to bypass the, the human element in doing business. Mm -hmm. Was there anything shocking about your study and your finding uh, on, uh, amongst the SMEs in Ghana and, and Nigeria? Yes, it, 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 uh, we found that one thing that was very interesting was that we, we never expected that digital processes or digital tools will be able to eliminate corruption. And we compared companies that use the digital technologies and those that don't use the digital technologies. And we found that those that use digital technologies are able to grow about, let's say, 25% mm -hmm. more than those that don't use digital technology. So this is, I mean, a very interesting finding and, I mean, it's sort of shocking revelation to demonstrate that um, digital technologies are good for firms to use in developing countries. Mm -hmm. So what, what would be your recommendation to Ghanaian entrepreneurs, especially those who are str struggling to stay afloat in, um, should I say, a corrupt society? And how do they really compete on the global stage? Well, one of the findings that we also found, were, or, or, that we also got, was that um, mm -hmm. firms that integrate digital technologies are able to do international business. They are able to move their business across borders, so exporting, mm -hmm. and to, um, that helped them to do that. And so the most the mo recommendation that we offered is aligned uh, with uh, how digital kind of uh, authorities will be able to support these small businesses to improve their efficiency in integrating digital technologies to mm. their businesses. This is very important because, I mean, those, as I mentioned, those that are able to do that are able to grow faster, about 25% more than those that are not able to do that. Mm. Mm. Okay, I, I pray. Uh, but, but, but again, run us through some of these simple digital tools because as we're saying, it looks big, but are there simple digital tools that SMEs who are watching us now could take advantage of if they don't even know. 
well, I mean, I mean, recently we found that uh, companies are able to integrate their mobile money transfers. These are, I mean, uh, smaller kind of technologies that firms are able to integrate. We also talk about um, um, Internet of Things. We talk about artificial intelligence. Recently, um, uh, is booming and that across the world. And so, given that uh, we have a frugal type of innovations across uh, West Africa, mm. uh, the use of mobile uh, kind of mobile money, for example, is one of the things that I have mentioned for small medium sized enterprises to look at when they try to integrate uh, this into their, their money payment systems. Mm. Uh, so this is one of them that we can think of. Okay. All right. Grateful to you, uh, Doc, uh, for joining us. Dr. Professor Samuel Adumakon uh, is uh, part of that research that found that SMUs uh, who are integrating um, uh, digital technology tools are doing far better in Ghana and Nigeria. <music>